Hi, my name is Tim Slater, and I served with 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines back in 2003 during the invasion of Iraq. Um, I was an infantryman there in uh, Gulf Company 2-5, so the person I want to talk about is First Sergeant Edward Smith, and he was a uh, superior in my battalion, and <clears throat> he was killed uh, in Iraq on, uh, he was wounded April 4th, and he died the next day of, in the hospital. Um, <clears throat> so... Yeah, the, the reason, I just, he taught me a lot, and I learned a lot from him, and he really taught us a lot. He was a true professional. Um, in my battalion, we actually had um, another first sergeant who got shot in the elbow, and he was wounded, and then we also had a gunnery sergeant get shot in the face, and just to have three guys who were been in the Marine Corps 20 years get shot like that, um, and just get taken out so quickly and so suddenly, especially after they taught us so much, and sacrificed so much to keep us safe, it just really kind of was a psychological blow to my entire unit as we were moving into Baghdad there, and um, just kind of speaks to the hideous nature of war and just the entire entire deal, and <clears throat> well, it, it just, just it doesn't really matter how, how good you are, how long you've been there, anything like that, it, people are just going to get hit, and that's just reality of warfare, and it's just too bad that it's usually the good ones, and especially the ones risking so much, keeping other people safe, that they're usually the first ones to get hit, so I, my heart goes out to anyone who's either served overseas or has family that served overseas. It's a lot of sacrifices being made, and thank you.